this is a tweener age. It's kind of hard for them to just hang out until 7 o'clock. It's important that they have an after-school program that fits the junior high school needs. We have to interest them in not academic base, but more of a enrichment base. I hope that they will be able to be introduced to different concepts that they are not introduced to in their daily school lives. The particular curriculum this time around is called Don't Run Off, and it's about reducing pollution runoff within the city. The science that they're bringing into the program through the DDC, it reinforces a lot of the ideas that they've learned. Now it's, it's giving them application for those concepts. I really like this uh, club because it's really fun and you can tell uh, by the look of everybody that everybody's serious about this. I expected that we'd just be writing in a book, but it's actually more fun than that because we get to create our own ideas. We're trying to get them to picture a future city where the environment, the man-made environment is actually helping the natural environment. The best strength about this program that kids get out of it is that they learn how to quickly think. Engineering design process! I'm gonna give you an envelope. You guys have 30 seconds. I can remember being a kid and sitting in a program and being like, I wasn't interested in that, but now I can see how that applies to everyday life and why it's important. My father said Shanghai. 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 From Shanghai. What do you speak? Processus de conception technique. We were doing the vocabulary in Mandarin, Spanish, and French to engage the multicultural aspect of the classroom. All right, Chinese. Wu Ding. Wu Ding. Last two words. Lu Ding Lu Yes, very good. So this session, what you guys will be doing is working as a team to build and construct your very own model cities. This is meant for them to learn the true aspects of teamwork. When we put them in groups, we always get a little bit of resistance after the first couple of sessions once the problem gets too big to where they can't work on it by themselves, you see that they're using their communication skills, they're branching out, they're going outside of their comfort zone. You can't be the solo guy anymore. You have to be the team player. It makes us uh, better problem solvers and uh, better compromisers. You know you can count on the people who are in your table to help you out. If there's a problem that you can't solve, they might be able to solve it too. Whenever I had to communicate with somebody, it would just be awkward silence, but now I can freely talk about my ideas to any other person. Anytime you can get the kids to, to do hands-on learning, to build, to create, to investigate, to try things again, it's a real powerful experience. We are going to give you guys a chance to design your green roofs on top of structures. This is the model, so you're gonna have to make sure that you work together in a group and you have the two buildings here and you have an empty space to build whatever you want here. In this project, we're building a model city. We're trying to prevent runoff from happening because it just creates more problems that we don't need. If we had pollution everywhere and we had runoff everywhere, this world wouldn't look like it was today. It would look more like a trash-filled place. Remember, we're going to have to test this thing, and it's going to have to be ready for our showcase day. And then people are going to spray water on it to see if it works. All these young engineers. Wow. I'm looking forward to finding out more about what you have done. I expect to see you helping us building our bridges, our subway, our tunnels. These are our future. These are the future careers. This school was incredible. Your children are amazing, they're bright, they're inquisitive, they really are the future of tomorrow and we were incredibly privileged to work with them. If we can have one kid come to us and say, I want to be an engineer, I want to be an architect, then the Young Engineers program has been a success.